Hey LSU, where's the swag? Is it gone for good? Mark Rogers TV here to preview the Tigers and the Gators Saturday at the Swamp. And ever since LSU was beaten down and battered and bruised and just buried by Bama 21-0 in the BCS National Championship game, this LSU team has not been the same. No moxie, no arrogance, no swagger, whatever you want to call it, the feel is gone. Yeah, they're 5-0, but the win's very unimpressive and uninspired. Sure, they'll sleepwalk against Towson 38-22, but what about against Auburn 12-10? They escaped. The one constant, though, in this program is talent, speed, and it especially shows up on defense. And it shows up all over the field and literally all over the roster because you go to number one, that's Eric Reed, the safety. He is one of the best in the country. And down to number 99, Sam Montgomery, defensive end, also one of the best in the land. The LSU defense is a constant. It is great. It's the best unit on the field in this game. The attitude is in question and also the offense. Zach Mettenberger is completing 65%. He's got a thousand yards, six touchdowns and two picks. But of course, this is a test in the swamp. The biggest game Zach Mettenberger has ever played. The stats are pretty impressive, but the play has really not been. He holds on to the ball too long. He's been called upon and given this starting job to produce points in the passing game downfield. Zach Mettenberger, you're on. And you should have the support of a running game that's got four really good running backs. They go four deep. These guys all get carries. Kenny Hilliard, six touchdowns, leads the group. You've got Michael Ford and also Spencer Ware. These guys all produce six yards per carry. The LSU ground game is still fierce. Florida on defense, not as good as LSU, not as tested, but very much improving. Now is this Gator defense tougher than it's been? Well, it looks so after five games, but this is going to be the stiffest challenge physically for the Gator front seven in playing this game. They're not going to get spread out like they did against Tennessee or Texas A&M. They're going to be able to stay in that 4-3 base defense, and let's see if they can slug it out with LSU. Mike Gillisley on offense, uh, 400 yards, five touchdowns, but the disadvantage for the Gators here is that Gillisley is the man for Florida. LSU's got four guys by committee, and they will wear down the Florida defense in the fourth quarter. Gillisley could get worn down himself, by the LSU front wall. Jeff Driscoll, the quarterback, provides something that Mettenberger does not. That's mobility. So he can convert a third and long on his legs. Also 70% for him, four touchdowns and one pick. But like Mettenberger, this is certainly the biggest stage that Jeff Driscoll has ever been placed on. He's got to perform as well. Florida feeling good. They're a feel-good 5-0 football team. They're at home. They feel really good about their best season thus far in three years. And uh, they've got Driscoll again at quarterback. He's mobile. That's an advantage over LSU. But the Tigers got big game experience. And even though they've been going through the motions, we expect the bright lights to come on and the Bayou Bengals to get it on at the swamp. Big game experience. No question marks on defense. LSU defeats Florida 23-17 should be a good one. That's our pick. We need to hear from you, SEC fans. LSU, Florida, on Mark Rogers TV.